Well, we had Martin Luther King Day off on Monday, so this is in fact the third day of the school week. Got it. I want to talk to you really quickly today about two particular issues, right? Two big things has happened for us really in the last week. Two main things have been in the news, maybe I would say. Number one has obviously been the robbery which occurred in the Superdome this past Sunday with regards to the NFL, and I'll come back to that. The other one was after the March for Life ended, there was a pretty serious incident that came to light, or a supposedly serious incident, on the part of some individuals who were taunting or apparently mocking um, some Native American protesters. That particular instance was a reality where maybe everyone should have just kind of kept to themselves for a moment before getting so outspoken, collected all of the facts, and then made a better statement if it was called for, or some kind of response to the situation before them, once all the facts and facts were collected. But no, that did not happen. The rich, the powerful, the poor, both outside and inside the church, were very quick to condemn these individuals without having all of the facts. When in actual fact, what they should have done is kept quiet until they had the facts. Discerning when it's right to speak, when we have the proper information, and when in fact I'm being called in prudence to make a statement about something I have observed. Okay? Discerning. It's a big one. Instead, the whole country, if not more than that, the world, starts calling, crucify him, crucify him, right? How often have we read the scriptures and we look at that mob saying crucify Jesus and we think, oh, I'd never be part of that crowd. You sure? Another incident, and they're not comparable at all, they're completely separate, but it's the opposite reaction, was something where millions of people watched an injustice happen at the same time, with an incalculable number of cameras focused down that one spot, watching an egregious football play not be called and saints being stolen of their right to go to the Super Bowl. Now the NFL has a plethora of information, more cameras than you could ever ask for, and all of that's right in front of them. What was their response? Silence. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Now, of course, don't need to kind of cure me from any supposed naiveties you think I might have with regards to the legal ramifications that are at stake here. But you have two instances where we have all the information and someone is called to speak out and say something about the injustice and nothing is said. And then we also have another instance whereby we don't have any of the information at the offset and we are very, very quick to make dogmatic and very scathing condemnations of an individual. There was a very important practice that we used to have when we didn't have the instantaneous nature of media, of social media, of cell phones, of Twitter, that we actually waited to collect facts, that we would study the information, and that we would formulate a hypothesis based on the evidence rather than what we have slipped into now, which we all love and we're all addicts of, is the reactionary mentality. A very simple discernment process for any person when responding to something. Is what I'm doing right now coming from charity, actually willing the good of the other, desiring their good, or is it something of a reaction? Is it something just to simply vent my own frustrations, which I am very bad at articulating. I don't know how to put it into words, so I'm just going to scathe and gut down this person, because that's all I know how to do. The basic rule for all of us, we can always follow this. When we're confronted with a situation which confounds us, which causes us to struggle, or causes us some tension, let's take a step back. We're able to confront life right back with an interior strength which Christ himself has given us, the same strength he had as he stood before the Sanhedrin and was falsely accused. To be a person of integrity, person who stands before the world and always seeks, always desires, and always holds up the truth.